are you? Listen, we're gonna go have some uh, fun in Kadukur. I don't think you can see me right now, so we're gonna start over this video, okay? Ciao! Hello, guys! Now, today I'm in Kadukur and it's around midnight, five minutes to midnight, and we're gonna check the Kadukur, Istanbul Kadukur nightlife and then see if you guys gonna like it at all whatsoever i mean like kaduku is one of my favorite places, you know because um when i was in college in back in the 90s i was going to taksim area beyolo taksim area so much because uh, that was 90s i had a really long hair believe it or not you know i had long hair <laughs> and going to the all these clubs and everywhere and then the, you know three nights a week I was in Kaduk, I mean Taksim, Istiklal Street, like going to all the clubs, going to the you know rock bars, you know different kind of bars and clubs, and you know um, so having great time. And later, um, maybe 2010s, 11s, as I was in the, you know abroad long time in 10 years in Dubai, 10 years in US, um, I, I start to get uh, way too crowded for me. Um, the Bay Olu Taksim area and then you know seriously one time I didn't even go bothering going there uh, for like three four years even though I came to uh, Istanbul many times so meantime I discover I mean the, not discover but the Kadıköy has become more of a more of a you know more popular place for the nightlife because the environment here the people here more of a European mindset you know they're like uh, now I'm gonna be able to show you a little bit we're gonna be driving around and then see the people how they are spending their Saturday night uh, right now Saturday the 25th 2001 so we're gonna go see some of the streets uh, and then how they're hanging out and then let's see if you're gonna like it and then consider coming to Kaduke uh, beside the, I'm not saying don't go to uh, Istiklal Street. Istiklal Street is still pretty nice, but I don't like the vibe anymore. Although Istiklal Street, you have to see it, all the architect, all the you know embassy buildings, all the amazing stuff there. I am personally not liking the the uh, what I call Istiklal Street anymore. Now my favorite place in Istanbul is definitely Kadıköy. I come here, I take different classes, I, I take tango classes, as you know, uh, you know, I hang out here, I go cafes, I go to have a drink, I meet with the friends, you know, it's awesome, it's like Europe, it's, um, I think, it's not, it's very easy to say for me that Kadıköy is the most European part in the district of Istanbul, for sure, by far, you will see in a moment now. Okay. Let's go see Katlu Auto Park. If we're gonna be able to find a parking spot tonight, because yeah, uh, it is midnight, it is uh, crowded, people are out there. It's like there is no economic crisis, right? It is just like a nothing going on here. Nothing. Everything is so good, you know. Like economy is striving and thriving, and you know, jumping all over the place and uh, people are out there you see okay some of my <laughs> my comments and my videos they're saying that oh you know islamic country in in uh, turkey we would never consider going didn't you see people street drinking beer i'm not saying you can do this everywhere in turkey but as you can see kadıköy you can yes in kadıköy you can do that and look that this is a line for the club right there you see what i mean People are lining up to go to this club and then they're drinking outside, they're hanging outside, okay? For the Turkish haters, how can I ask, how else I can prove that you're not in like a Sharia, you know, Iran, Iraq kind of place? I don't know how else I can be able to prove it to you, this. Can't you see this one? Do you see anything different here? Uh, compared to US, compared to Europe, I like this is like Europe, more of Europe, this is streets and everything. So let's put it this way: this is like a more of a Europe, right? This is sent very central Kadike, and Saturday night, people drinking, people hanging out, uh, people flirting. Maybe we'll see couples are kissing. 
I mean, what is wrong with you guys? Who tells that this Turkey is like, oh, very bad, we shouldn't go to the Muslim country where ma majority of people, but, uh, what do you think is gonna happen? They're gonna, you know, uh, impose their belief system, you, you know, you become a Muslim and, and then they'll cut your arms and dick, whatever, you know what I mean? What is this? This is 21st century. The staying ignorant is a choice. It's not like an excuse anymore, you know? This is internet, you can find out things. Watch uh, videos like mine and find out. And I'm telling you, this is how, how, how is today and most of this stumble tonight, okay? And uh, if I can find a goddamn parking place, I'll be happier and walking around to show to some places and um, pretty girls of Istanbul is that yes yes and some okay of course respecting the pedestrians you know what I mean and then uh, yes yes yes yes oh, that's wonderful that's a wonderful night it is actually 10 and a half centigrade outside and I see so many beautiful women and a Turkish woman I, I'm not really crazy about it this little uh, <laughs> I don't know. I I lived in long time in the, uh, other part of the world. It's a uh, way too much drama for me. I don't I don't date a Turkish girl uh, very easily, you know. If ever, let's say, let's put it this way. But they're nice. They, I, I don't mind being friends with them. It's okay to be friends with them. Uh, but dating for me, no, no, no. Thank you. I'm good. I'm good here. I, I'm okay with it. This, this kind of drama. Uh, uh, if it's a can any cancellation, Arab girls even worse. I never date Arab girl, uh, Lebanese, whatever. I lived in, in Dubai. I don't, you know, I'm not racist whatsoever. But I cannot take drama, you know what I mean? So, uh, they're the real drama, drama, drama thing. Uh, this, look at these people, how nice. I will show you guys some places really, really uh, enjoyable, you know? I'll hopefully find you some places, the people drinking raku. Uh, having a you know couple meze like a tapas little food food drinking raku uh, you know uh, mezes and having a really amazing time listening good music having a deep conversation with their friends and or loved one wives the significant one or girlfriend or the long run uh, friend you know it's so beautiful okay let me take my things out and uh, you'll be able to show you around as well a little bit more even right I put the camera here and you can see the town. In the town, driving around. I don't know what I said was heard properly before, but yes. This is Turkey guys, this is 6th destination in the world, tourism destination, after US, China, France, Italy and Spain, okay, 40 over million, over 40 plus million people every year comes to Turkey to see the beautiful happy girls. Finally I found a parking spot, so I parked my car and let's get the hell out of here and then I'll show you some Kadikir nights by walking that way, let's go. I'm parking in a nice place. Yes. Oh, look at this gorgeous. Look at this gorgeous. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so cold today. It's then 10 degrees. It's like a little bit colder, to be honest. Maybe the car was really hot, anyways. Okay, let's walk around and uh, walk around tour and Kadeke, Istanbul. Let's go. Uh, they're saying that we can do you know extract your sins what they call this <laughs> in the churches in catholic believe you right you go to church and they say your guilt and uh, he uh, the the priest uh, kind of uh, approve you whatever right they were just saying that we can do that for 10 lira each tell me this is new business idea they were just having that kind of conversation <laughs> such a weirdos such a weirdos 
anyways yeah that's really cool that's funny see the sense of humor turkish people in this tough economic times is keeping him uh, together actually really because what's happening in recent months in istanbul is absolutely insane like uh dollar was around eight liras just a few months ago like maybe two months ago and then everyone's thinking oh my goodness shit is going wrong maybe the dollar will be 10 before we know it was 10 and it was 10 11 12 13 14 14 around they hang out a little bit and then uh, later on it went to 16 and barely touched even 18 until the government come up with some uh, very difficult to explain um, makes no sense kind of plan <laughs> and dollar suddenly went down to 12 and this insanity imagine this insanity you're getting fixed turkish lira salary income whatever and then <laughs> you're purchasing power against other currencies uh, fluctuating like 50 percent within the month i mean suddenly you get uh, right now is like a imagine 8 to 12 we are looking at 50 percent increase in dollar that means your purchasing power at least 33 and a half percent is decreased in the span of a month so you got poorer i mean like uh, let's say if you're planning to i mean a regular guy guy and girl forget about the uh, importing how expensive it is now uh, to produce something and then basically if you had the plans to go to europe for vacation whatever now you have to be paying one and a half times more for everything if not two times more you know and the uh, prices inflation here also really really uh, something obvious you cannot really miss it like <laughs> every other day thinking oh my god i pay uh 20 lira last month this is now is 30 what's happening and top of this crazy days see what's happening here people having good time drinking raku having good time having conversation with your friends that is turkey guys this is turkey it's a magic country people are extremely resilient and trust me those bad days will pass and then they will try again give it give one two years please you will see and the other hand on the other hand for you that you live in US you live in UK you live in Canada you live in uh, developed part of US, uh, Europe Germany Netherlands whatever France okay you're making euro you're making dollar you're in australia new zealand making 50 60 70 thousand dollar a year and then you're about to retire or you have a long vacation sabbatical i challenge you buddy there is no better place to visit or actually live here than anywhere else in the world or retire this is the best place to retire in the world for you the people who makes money from here no it's not good but see they're okay they are not crying every day they're just handling the day in and out of course the topic of the conversation mainly what happened to dollar what's happening the economy with the current government pros and cons and supporters and against people always talking about it and then imagine there's nothing violent going on where everyone's waiting quietly for the next elections see we respect the democracy we have like 70 uh since yes yeah, 70 years old uh, democracy experience so these people are tolerant although they disagree you know the pro government and against the government opposition parties disagree last 20 years practically most of the uh, opposition people didn't like what the Erdogan regime done last 20 years but it doesn't matter at the end of the day everyone respects the the elections results whatever happens will happen and uh, Turkey will find its way out of these problems one way or another you will see mark my word mark my word you'll see
This is how Istanbul is. Oh yes, okay. This is quite interesting. If you haven't seen them, this is called mussels. You you opened up inside. Is it there's a rice? Okay, and then you put some lemon on it. You can eat it right away. See seafood. Cool. Nothing wrong with that. It's awesome actually. Uh, shall we go see where the people drinking raku? Why the hell not, right? Why the hell not, right? Okay, where to go now? Do you have any suggestion? I think I want to have chai latte. Since I'm driving, I don't want to have an alcohol uh, because uh, people tend to stop you, the po police tend to stop you and check your alcohol level. It is what it is. You might not done anything wrong, but if you have alcohol in your system, yeah. It's not like worse than uh, uh, Dubai if you cut alcohol and everything, but it's not pleasant either, yeah? To be cut uh, alcohol anywhere in the world is not pleasant while you're caught driving uh, with the alcohol influence, right? So yes, I'm not gonna drink any beer and nothing, but I can get the prices for you, not a problem. Some more record places, friendly people hanging there, drinking racket. I mean, drinking, don't get me wrong, drinking racket is not the most expensive thing, but I am kind of surprised there's still so many people spending that kind of money, you know. Uh, at least if they have alcohol, whatever, uh, you know, per person they'll be living at least $20, maybe. $25 on the table It's a great experience. The food is amazing. The, you know, Raku, you know, this is really nice. But $25 in a country uh, freaking uh, You know minimum wage is around 300 some dollars right now It's kind of little stretch if you ask me, but they do at the end of the day You know life is going on and they need this socially you know, there's their meat. They cannot give up on this. <laughs> Even their money, they'll come spend here because otherwise they'll be depressed, right? They need to go drink the beer, whatever, right? It is what it is. Yeah, guys and girls, it's so funny. I'm listening to the conversation. Oh, dear people, it's amazing. The one, one guy said, uh, one girl and a guy, he said, if if you're risking to lose me forever just go <laughs> what kind of bluff is that no one gives a shit about you if what they want people i don't know oh as american it, it isn't funny for me i'm a turkish also but yes the cultural differences makes me smile all day long it's kind of super cool that's a delicious place by the way and there's a lot of things it's Oh my god, this is so funny. It's called bomb, bomba, bomba. It's basically bomb in English, right? <laughs> I don't know how they do this, but these things inside is full of Nutella, full of Nutella. I don't know how they cook this thing. It's just, you know, like, but like crazy amounts of Nutella inside this. It's like a bomb. That's why they call this bomba. And then <laughs> immediately, <laughs> You'll get like thousand color or something. That's terrible. I uh, I can't have that. That's terrible. Okay, let's get something. I am I'm hungry. I'll have to have something. I'll have to have something. What shall I have? What shall I have? What shall I have? I know what I want, but I don't know if this place is open or not. Let me go find out. Let me walk a little bit. Every night walk. I didn't walk today. Ten thousand steps. Might as well. I'll do that now. By the way, I just saw these guys that he were talking about. This is the guy who was saying that, oh, if you, if you're gonna risk me, uh, risk losing me, go ahead and they're still together. That's <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what? What? Oh yeah, you have to see this. This is a, it's a wet burger. Oh my goodness, wet burger. 
with burger. This is like tomato juice. They dropped it in just a bun and the little uh, little uh, meat. That's it. Slack burger. With burger. Patron, a slack burger. Ne kadar? Huh? Dokuz mu? Ah, okay. Nine lira. Nine lira. That's about seventy-five cents. Okay. If you're so hungry, give seventy-five lira and a Turkish-style wet burger dropped into some kind of. I think is what I know what it is. It's not uh, uh, ketchup or something. It's kind of like uh, you know the you have a sausage. You put sauce on this sausage. That's what it is. Uh, I think it's tomato based. Basically, they make the burger, okay, patty, and put it on the bread and dripped on this uh, sausage sauce. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's, uh, it's cute, but I'm not gonna eat. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this street is Main Street, one of the main streets. We came from there and parked the car, and this this place is goes to the Baharia and uh, what they call the bull. Uh, status there is a bull started there. I will go there soon. Okay. Hold on. I'll show you more You will see more about Kadike. I think <laughs> I think that's gonna make you come here Come here Come over here. All right, let's go uh, As you can see there is a great talent of Turkish beggars and <laughs> kids. How you doing, my man? <laughs> no, they don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about the people who really the money, need the money and they have no other choice but ask money outside. But these are these little, uh, you know, gangs there, you know. It's little dirty business. I don't give it really. I don't really believe what's going on. I just saw a minute ago one beggar was uh, like friend family members whatever old beggars team and was talking on the phone and i said it looks like a real nice phone by the way imagine a phone like iphone here could be like one two three times expensive than us because of the taxes and imagine <laughs> let's say i don't know four five hundred dollars and you pay here like one thousand five hundred dollar in us you make sixty thousand dollars you, here you make ten thousand dollar a year so <laughs> for someone to be able to afford the, the goddamn phone or any electronics uh, i would say like what's up uh, 10, 15 times 10 15 times more difficult to buy purchase you know or let's say you make sixty thousand dollars per year okay and then uh, you want to buy a five hundred dollar phone so per month you make what is it to five thousand dollars and five hundred dollars is your roughly three days of work right wonderful let's calculate this here otherwise three days three days of your work you buy this this five five hundred the same phone here is about let's say thousand dollars which is i don't know the exact numbers but i don't think it's even better than this let's say maybe even fifteen hundred dollars okay so you pay thousand dollars for the same phone okay and uh, you make ten thousand uh, dollars per year as average if you're lucky by the way and then so basically instead of working for the same phone three days you work one and a half months how you like that 15 times yes my initial calculation was right oh my god i didn't become engineer by chance my math was amazing just by looking at the number without even calculating i got the numbers right yes it's 15 times difficult to buy one of those phones here okay there's a phone shop by the way what a coincidence all right let's go find my dessert because i'm going little little crazy little crazy this is good guys this model is uh they do everything just the best but nothing else just best best dessert best i mean best ice cream in, i know there's good ice cream everywhere in turkey but they got everything the all the different things is the best so it's amazing balance you know what i mean let me show you first inside and we'll go shop and i'll show you amazing dessert okay that's my favorite normal i was going to eat this one uh full of pistachios and they got goat milk uh not dessert 
but the ice creams goat milk guys goat milk is extremely healthy because goats are very picky animals they don't eat anything but natural you cannot feed them with the artificial food you know what i mean oh yes now i want something special let me show you they just didn't have my dessert because they was too busy today and they ran out of this dessert you want to go another time i promise you that's gonna be different but i'll still get something nice i need to have some light milky dessert so i will you know, satisfy my sweet tooth but not gain so much calorie okay now we are opening up a car uh, Bahari Street, what is that? I can even so speak. Uh, it's beginning of a Bahari Street. It's really cool. It's, and this is you have this. There you go. Statue of the freaking I don't know. Everyone's taking each other's picture. Yes. This is bull statue, the famous one, right? Yes. Let's. This is for the thumbnails, okay? Thumbnails. For the thumbnail. Okay. Uh, some people wanted to get under the bull, but yeah, they were not able to succeed so far. Oh no, they did. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness it's uh it's not real yeah this is this is so dumb anyways uh, what fun fun fun uh turkish people what to do <laughs> they're hot-blooded uh, yeah i'm too but i'm also american in a way i'm very you know uh, calculated and uh, you know think about everything you know every aspect of the things you know <laughs> You know, it's called Bahari Street. Yes, it's uh, more of a European. Although it's in Asia, <laughs> it's really European smell and feels here. You know, you know what I mean. Even there's an opera building here, which is <laughs> not very everywhere in in Turkey, right? <laughs> Everything okay there? No English. No English. Why? You should learn English. So everyone talk to you in English, right? They are looking for their car apparently. <laughs> See, some girls doesn't know how to speak English. And I didn't tell them I'm Turkish too. Türkçe konuşuyorum, İngilizce konuşuyorum, Rusça konuşuyorum. Hangi dil lazım sana? Sana neresi lazım? Bana bir şey lazım değil. Of, o çok kötü. Evde. Etkilen, ikiniz birden etkilen ama tek tek olmasın. Etkilenmedik hala. Olmadı, şimdi ne yapayım? Canım sağ In this street right there, you can see, it says Happy people, happy story. So, <laughs> maybe it's not bad as much as some people, some haters, Turkish haters, uh, they try to portray Turkey, right? Maybe it's not that bad. Okay, cool uh, bar street here, okay. These guys are making uh, something, you have to see this, look at this. This is called cockroach, okay? Cockroach. It's lamb intestines and charboiled and become sandwich. Uh, it's, uh, to me personally, it's very delicious, but it's very polarizing also. You'll either love it or hate it. There is no between, there is no between for this food. Bar Street, guys. Kadıköy. What do you think? What do you think? Ah, yes. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, it's people drinking. Yes, yeah, again. Not all everywhere in Turkey uh, you allowed to drink alcohol. So, mind this. Here, Kadıköy, yes. You can drink outside, not in a venue. On the street, you can drink. But in Beyoğlu, they remove this. You cannot drink. You know, it's like uh, everywhere, sometimes the current government is trying to push their agenda. So it's like oh, giving a 
you know, nonsense reasons uh, to make their supporters happy. Look, they'll say, oh, they, they're not allowing to drink in the street in Beolo. Uh, but yeah, how, how religious, how good our guys are, so whatever. So silly, very silly. How do you like it so far? Write down on the comments, please. Because these comments really help me really makes me happy and you know I really appreciate you guys joining me uh, to go around these places I, uh, I consider each and every of you as my friend and uh, I'm really happy to take you around I am saying this from bottom of my heart bottom of my <laughs> bottle of <laughs> bottom of my heart I didn't have an alcohol I promise ah yes that is the street very nice, very cool. Kadike. Next time, maybe one of you guys will catch me up here. We'll have a beer together. You never know. Life is short and the world is a small place. We might come across somewhere with you. Somewhere in the world, right? Yes. Yes. What else do you like to see now? Okay, let's go street one more time. See you around. That's like a bar street here basically yeah good looking guys and girls many of them here it's no different than anywhere in europe if you ask me uh, like a very european sense uh, understanding of life you know culturally i would say uh, kids here speaks more and more brain language obviously english majority more of more of guys and girls these are these are a little bit oh, obviously more educated side of the uh, Istanbul uh, every and each and every kid here probably uh, graduate from college university or has been a is been a student at the moment so uh, it's not a bad place huh imagine you're drinking rugby and someone comes and play some instrument and uh, ask you to give him some honey it's up to you you can tell them go away please and uh, <laughs> They might say something to you, hey, I need some money, this and this, and then you look away. And like, uh, if they say to you, hey, bro, give me five lira, whatever, and you look away, and then tell him, you know, you're high, I'm not even here. You talk about five lira, I'm not even here. <laughs> that way you can avoid them. So uh, just uh, be calm and do nothing. Uh, they will they will go away <laughs> uh, they will go away okay let's go this street then we've been in a nice street so already so yeah yeah yeah i like it i like it that's the way uh-huh uh-huh i like it uh-huh uh-huh that doesn't really fit this uh, vlog anyways Cool neighborhood bar, I like it. Look at this place, so cozy. Uh, I bet they, these people know each other for a while and uh, you know, hang out here and they say, you know, come, let's go grab you here. Maybe in this apartment coming down and meeting a friend and having, grabbing a one beer, one drink, uh, you know, flirt with the girls, whatever. Ah. Okay. Okay, there is a one church here as well, uh, and some kind of wall artwork here, see, uh, representing what's happening in Kadıköy, and it's a church, small church, it's in Turkish, it says, Ni sonsuz bir tanrı sevgiyle sevdi. Well, what it exactly means is, one infinite of God loved you with love. He loved you with God, love? Uh, <laughs> with love, he loved you with love. Okay, fine, whatever, whatever makes you happy. I'm okay with it. Drive, drive, drive, drive. Yes. Okay, guys and girls, I think this is a good place to stop the video because uh, 
this is <laughs> gonna be way too long and uh, we I just want to keep showing you things all right so hey buddy oh my god the cutest cat I've ever seen today <laughs> ciao see ya